you know, all of a sudden things get nice and quiet off the wind. do a flyby of Dole's Island here. Ah, beautiful fall sail. Yes. Not many November days this smile. No. No. Week of these really? Yeah. Um, I heard rain on Monday. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of times we'll start. Well, we did get a bit of frost last night, but a lot of times we'll have ice in the bird baths. Well, when I was a kid on the farm, we used to. September 25th, 23rd was the first frost. Wow. Uh, mm. Now it's up in the early October. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, late October this year. Yeah, we'll get back just in time to pull up onto the marsh. <clears throat> yeah, when you found it the other day, it was right on the bank. Yeah. Send me a picture. Yeah, yeah. It looked way worse than it actually was from like from up at the landing. All it was was a bow sticking up in the air. <laughs> but it was it was balanced like pretty much on the center board, so that the tide would have lifted it, like it wouldn't have filled on the returning tide. But I think if it had grounded out on it sideways on that same bank, it might have tipped over and you know spilled the oars onto the mud. I don't think it would have been. Really close. Yeah, when I saw it, I was... We'll try and get it a... Uh... So right beside the ramp, right beside the gravel landing there, there's like a little muddy patch with a bunch of eel grass as opposed to marsh grass, and we'll try and get it right into, right on that. Okay, we'll move the. Because uh... that way it won't be on. It won't be on Sal's marsh. You know, it'll be on the public right away, but it'll be off the actual access. Let's see if you can pull the, the mushroom up. I'll move it a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my 
my friend and I, when we came rowing, we had to get a, another guy working nearby at one of the houses. Okay. To come down and help us get in the water. Yeah, yeah, I believe it. Well, if it's up on the high marsh, then it's basically you're stuck there until it's floating. I mean, you and I have pulled this a little bit, but uh, it's pretty... When you and I were pulling it, I think we were on a little bit of the incline, you know, down towards the water, too, which helps a lot. <clears throat> like with Centennial, I can't, like, I, can't, I don't even try pulling it. If that's up on the marsh, it doesn't go anywhere until it floats. With this boat, you've got to, like, it's almost light enough where it's dangerous because you'll try pulling it and then you injure yourself, you know, pull a muscle or something. We used to have, one time we went to the regatta, yeah. and they had these rollers. You oh, yeah. Those? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those would be great to get. You can buy those. And the other nice thing about those is if you get, like, four or five of them, you can lash them in as flotation, lash them to the uh, seat risers, oh. and they work great as flotation bags as well as rollers, you know. That would be a real good idea. I think they're like 80, 80 to 100 bucks per roller. Oh, remember we used to use, we used to do rollers we found in the river at the rolling pump. Yeah, yeah, logs. Yeah, oh, they were perfectly Fen round. Fence posts or whatever they were, yeah. Uh, yeah, those, those bags are great because uh, they're actually better on soft ground than even a hard log is because if they're partially inflated, you get the boat up on it so that it's supported by the inflated bag, but then the bag is flat. And so the bag just, the, the cloth wrinkles and rolls and you can carry a lot of weight over, you know, soft ground with those. Well, I remember they worked pretty good at the regatta when we were pulling boats out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those would be perfect for this, because like I say, you could use them as flotation as well. Just in case. <laughs> Better to be safe than sorry. Explain the jiving for me. Tell, me. tell me what you have to watch out for there. <clears throat> so, yeah. yeah it's, uh, so it's a more risky maneuver than tacking because the, f 
the sail is full and powered up on one side and then when you come across the wind it flops over and if you aren't careful it will be full and powered up on the other side immediately so kind of what you want to do is like have it out like this you know if you were if you wanted to jibe right now have it out like this and then you bear off the wind basically until the wind catches it on the other side catches the sail back and then when the sail comes across you want to keep turning in that direction you were going so when the sail first comes across it's almost it's almost depowered like the wind is almost out of the sail and then you can quickly fall back downwind and power up the sail and uh, and you know continue on let's, let's do it now okay yeah, yeah, sure. So what you want to do is start the jibe and, and, and turn hard into it. And then as soon as the sail starts to come around, then you can start to then straighten out the boat. And as soon as the sail is across, then bring it back downwind. So I'm, I'm, to, turn, I'm to turn that way. Uh, you're to turn that way, that way. To start to initiate the jibe, yeah. And the other thing is you gotta wa just watch out for the boom and all the lines because they're gonna. You're ready. Okay, I'm good to go. We'll give it a shot. It's nice and gentle wind right now. And now when you come close, see I'll I can give it a tug to start it across, and then see now it's across, but see it's like way out. Okay, yeah, and bring us back downwind. It's way out. The sail is almost laughing because of how hard you turned, right? Okay. Now turning back downwind will refill the sail on the other tack. And, uh, and you know, we're off and running, basically. Yeah, so as you, you know, we got a nice light breeze right now, but as it gets, as the wind gets stronger and stronger, you know, it becomes trickier and trickier to do. Way of getting your boom on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Going downwind. Oh, my gosh. That sun feels good. Okay, we're close to jibing again, just so just so you're aware of it. See ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Okay, jibing? Ready to jab? Okay. Other way. Okay, ready to drive? Yeah. Drive home. Stop. No, oh, there we go. And then recover quickly. Yeah, yeah, and then you got to come back onto as as the sail goes limp and starts to turn, then you should be, you know, you should be prepping your body and everything to pull on the other opposite direction. Cuz otherwise, you know, the, the the boat can heel over and it'll counteract the rudder and all of a sudden you're whip sideways and when you're sideways to the wind if the sail's in at all then it'll heel your way over and yeah it gets crazy fast <laughs> oh that was good we did that well
There is a bit of a breeze too. Well, we got probably 10 or 12 mile an hour breeze right now. Yeah, if possible, sure. Yeah, we'll probably just, uh, we got the breeze pushing us in, so we can actually, you know, we'll drop the jib or maybe even drop the main and just go in under the jib if you want. Because we're with the wind the whole way, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> We're back. Alright, well why don't I give you the main sail? Okay. And I'll drop the main, alright? Okay. And uh see if I can do it while I'm videoing. I'm take off the downhaul. Now if you can haul in on that main sheet as the sail comes down, Pike. That'll keep the, oh, oh, hold up a sec, ah, hold up, there we go. <laughs> there we go. I should have had the, uh, I had my leg between the thing and the boom, and then the boom was on the other side of the mast. <laughs> okay, go in on the, go in on the uh, jib now. Yeah, yeah, so now we got, we're with the wind, so we can just let the jib bring us in. If we got enough wind, otherwise we may end up rowing in. Oh, we got the tide with us too now. No, we got the tide against us now. Should be on the other side over there. It's going over there. Yeah, whichever side it wants to be on. It's just drag at this point. All right. So anyway, we did it. We got the got the main down, and it didn't go in the water. You did a good job of keeping it in the water, Pike. I just got my. Uh, Leg on the wrong side of the boom. <sighs> what a day. My word. <sighs> Beautiful down river, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I say, we'll have to do like an intensive training camp next spring or whatever to get you and whoever else, whoever's going to crew with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, whoever you think can reliably sail with you, and if it's got to be two or three people, then you have them sit in on the crew sessions as well, and then you'll have uh... yeah, because this really is sailing it. It's a two-person boat. You know, that's what it raced with. So you really want those. You kind of need the extra weight, and you need the extra set of hands to handle the lines if you're going to be you know sailing anywhere serious. If you're just floating around the harbor, you could probably just put the mainsail up and never mind the jib, you'd be fine. It looks like we might be heading in. Yeah, oh yeah, we'll make it. I probably dropped the mainsail a little bit early, but oh well. Yeah, cute little jib, tiny little thing. And I think you've got those uh, sail slides back in the um, cuddy, I do. so that you can hook the uh, the hook, the hanks that are on the front end of the j edge of the jib, on the left of the jib. You can hook those on those slides, and then you can actually put the jib up the mast okay. as a mainsail. Yeah, if you're under extreme conditions and you need to reef. And then sail with it, you know, just like that. If it was like blowing 30 miles an hour or something and you had to get home. Uh, the buoy on the mushroom out there? Yeah. Yeah. Keep 
warm this way, it'll be a nice and gentle landing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can put the center board up, I think, and you'll still be able to steer. Try it anyway. Now, do you want to pick up the uh, blue float? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, that's the uh, that's our stern anchor. Okay. All right, so we'll pick that up as we go by. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get this sorted, and uh, thanks for stopping by for the video, guys. Look forward to seeing you in the comments section and out on the water sometime real soon. End of a gorgeous day on the Parker River.